Hello there everyone. In this tutorial we'll explore the particles room in PowerDirector 12. To open, click on the particle room icon. As we can see, the particle room has three sections. The content list, the particle thumbnails, and the options section. The PowerDirector particles room comes preloaded with many particles, but you can also download thousands of more particles from the CyberLink Director Zone. Choose a particle, download, and then follow the prompts to save and install. To add a particle to your project, drag the particle down into a timeline track. If you wish to customize the particle, click on the Modify button to open Particle Designer. Once in Particle Designer, you have the option to customize the particle properties and the particle motion. In this example, we'll use the standard CyberLink Fireplace particle, and then change and customize it into a rocket fire tail. The fireplace particle may already be installed in your PowerDirector 12, or you can simply download it from CyberLink's Director Zone. With the particle highlighted, click on Modify to open Particle Designer. The first thing we'll do is to delete the background image by right-clicking on it and then choosing Remove. Now click on the Motion tab and choose a Motion Path. The first thing that I'm going to do is to delete the two middle keyframes. Then we can move and set the beginning emit point to here. Now I'll move the timeline scrubber ahead to the last keyframe and set the ending emit point to here. The Motion Path is now very close to what I want but I don't like the way that the end of the tail drifts upward. So I'll click on the Properties tab and then on Modify Parameters. I'll then scroll down to the Gravity setting and reset the value to zero. And then I'll click on the Stop button to lock this new value into place. Next I'll change the color setting to a light yellow. But I also want this fire tail to be a little bit longer. So I'll go to the life setting and I'll change the value to 1500. And to make the tail a little bit bigger, I'll change the size setting to 5. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'll leave all the other available property settings at their original default settings. Now that we've finished customizing the particle, we can click on Save As and give it a new name. Back in the particle room, we can see that our new customized particle has been saved and is now available for any future project. So now, let's add our new particle to a project. I'm going to drag a Starfield particle that I made earlier into track number one. Then I'll put our new Firetail particle into track number two. Finally, I'll open the PIP Objects room and drag a pre-made motion object into track number three. And now by layering these particles and objects, we have now created an outer space sequence. Here's another example of how to simply customize a particle. This time we'll use the CyberLink color particle. If this particular color particle is not already installed in your particle room, you can go to the CyberLink Director Zone and simply download it. Drag the color particle into a timeline and to change the confetti type images click on Add Delete Particles. Now we can add six new images by clicking on the plus icon. 
and browsing for some new custom images on a transparent background. Then we can simply delete the confetti images so that they are now replaced with the new globe images. We also have the option to adjust the emit method. However, I do want to change the size of my new globe images. So I'll change the size setting. And now we have a modified particle. As we can see, the options for customizing or creating new particles in PowerDirector 12's particle room are virtually limitless. So dive in and experiment. Thanks for watching.